Hello friends, welcome. Now in this video, let's see the what's new in view 3.3. And first I'm going to start with the import types. Let's open the VS code. And here I have a project and I have created some components. Also, I have created this props.typescript and here I have export type props with ID name and slug and all of them are strings. And also in the app.view, right now we have only the h1, what's new in view 3.3. Previously, types used in the type parameter position of define props and define emits were limited to local types and only supported type literals and interfaces. Now we can import uh, types from different files, so for example from here, and use in other define probes and define emits. So let's see. Here, as, as you can see, I added the language TypeScript because this update is all about the TypeScript. So let's say import here, import type probes from probes. And now we can say define probes and pass here the props type like this also if you have uh, extra props you can say add the add symbol and pass the extra prop here and maybe this extra prop is a number and we can say like this also in this version now we have a uh, reactive prop destructure so we can destructure the props and it's going to be reactive let's uh, let's remove this for now we don't need that and let's create a constant and say uh, we need to destruct the id name and the slack so let's say here id name and the slack from the define props pass in here the props from a different file and the id name and the slack are reactive also in this update we can assign a default value to the prop for example to the name let's say i want to add the default value of view.js and just to show you, let's add the span and display the name here. And if I save, and let's open here, as you can see, we have here Vue.js. Okay, so that's it about the import types in 3.3. Now let's see the defined model. I'm going to remove this one and also remove this two. Now let's open this define model here and we have created constant props and define props model value and const emit define emits update model value. So previously for a component to support two way binding with V model, it needs first to declare the define prop, a prop here and second is to emit a corresponding update. So here we have model value event when it attempts to update the prop. This is for previously, okay? Uh, I'm going to show you what is changed. And then we have here the input value, going to be the model value and on input, we're going to call this on input and emit the update model value with the passing the event target value. Now, if I import this define model here, so let's say import define model from components slash define model view. And also I'm going to import from view, I'm going to import the ref. And now let's create here. I'm going to create a constant and I'm going to name it input. 
pool is going to be equal with the rep and initially it's going to be an empty string and right here I'm going to say define model and save now here the model to be input okay so we added the v model here which is a true way data mining for view and here we define the props model value and then on input we call the update model value passing the event target value good let's save and let's see on the browser here we have and just to show you i'm going to output also the input here so let's say span and display the input so what is what we type here is going to display here okay that's it how we work previously before the 3.3 now with 3.3 come here let's uh, comment this and what we can change is just say here const model value I'm going to say which is going to be equal with and now we are going to use the define model okay let's use this define model and instead of adding the passing the value and the on input here we can use the same as here v model so on the input we can use the v model from vue.js or two-way data bindings and say model value to the const here now if i save and from here we can say we can see in the same and this is a big update as you can see here we have one two three four lines of code and right now we just can create a constant for and define a model and add here the v model okay friends this is the change for the define model now the, the last thing let's see the generic components and i'm going to remove this here remove everything okay now let's see the generic component here we have a script setup lang type script and as you can see now we have here the generic so component using the script setup can now accept the generic type parameter via the generic attribute so we can add generic here and the type t also we can use the extents here and I'm, I have imported the props from this file and extend extends that props here also I have created the defined props and say items generic type T array also define emits remove item and the item is going to be generic type T here then we have uh, on the template the div ul and the then li v for item in items and we have a button on click emit the remove item and pass in here the item okay as you can see the item is the extends props good now let's come here and first thing here i'm going to import the ref from view then let's import the generic generic component from components slash generic component also I'm going to import type props from props and I'm going to say const items is going to be ref and add an array with id name and the slack then I'm going to create here a function to remove the item passing here the item which is going to be 
type props, as you can see here, with ID name and the slug, and just I'm going to say console log the item name. And the last thing here on the template, I'm going to pass the generic component, pass in here the items, because in the generic component, we define props items. And now we added the items here. And also here we have the remove item. And as you can see, the remove item is an item with ID name and the slack. All of them are strings because here we say a remove item is and passing here the item, which is a type D which extends to the props. As you can see here also the on the slot we bind the item which is a generic type D extends props and as you can see now the item is an item with ID name and the slack. Let's save and let's see on the browser, yeah, here we have, and I'm going to inspect the element, go to the console, and if I click remove this, so we have the name Laravel and Vue.js. Now, if uh, if I open here the probes TypeScript, we have here the ID name and the slug, and we say on the generic component, the items are generic type T, which extends the probes, which mean the items is need to have the ID name and the slug, but if I remove, for example, the slug from here, we have an error as you can see here. Let's add the slug also. And that's it about the generic components. So we can pass here generic type. Also, we can use the extends that extends the probe. Okay friends, that's it about this video. I hope you enjoy and see you in the next one. All the best.